If you have never done your own nails at home, girl, you are missing out. This is a video for you. I do not have long, fancy nails. I don't like long, fancy nails, so I keep my nails short and clean and crisp, but I love them painted, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So hey there, my name is Renee and this is my channel. Welcome to my curls. I'm sitting in my kitchen, in my pajamas in fact, because it is a yucky, snowy winter day. My husband's watching basketball. I have nothing to do. And so I was going to paint my nails and I thought I might as well film this for you all because the last video that I did about painting my own nails is about a year and a half old now and I have upgraded my UV light. I have found a way better website to get all of my colors and I just thought, hey, I'll film this and I'll share it with you. This video is going to be a tutorial. I'm going to give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do your own nails with gel nail polish. This is how you can do it yourself at home. You can save yourself so much money by doing your own nails. You don't have to keep up with appointments. You can do them at your convenience. You can buy as many colors as you want. I'm kind of a, uh, I'm a color addict. These are all of my nail colors. Hmm, I know. In this video, we're talking about gel nail polish. This is the kind where you need to put your fingers in the UV lamp to set the polish. It is, it's good stuff, y'all. This is not regular nail polish. That's why I'm giving you a tutorial. Everything you need in order to do your own nails, I have outlined for you here. And you must have all of these things or it's not gonna work. You can't skip a step. You can't say, oh, well, I don't have that. And so I'm just I'm gonna not get it. You need every one of these things in order to do your nails at home. You need 100% pure acetone. It has to be acetone. You cannot use regular fingernail polish remover. It won't work. So 100% pure acetone and you need isopropyl alcohol. If you can find the 91% alcohol like I have, that's fantastic. If you can only find, I think it's a 70%, that's fine. It'll work too. I have always used a brand called CND Shellac on my nails. I use their base coat, their top coat, and all of their colors. I just think this brand is fantastic. It stays on your nails longer. It stays shiny longer. It doesn't peel. It doesn't chip. I have tried some other brands. Didn't love them. Keep coming back to the CND Shellac. So that's what I'm going to show you in today's video. And I'm going to tell you where to get it. And then some extra things that you need are these little round cotton pads. You need an orange stick, or I do, because sometimes I can get really messy when I'm painting my nails. This is my secret to being able to get any paint off of my skin around my fingernails. And then of course, most important, you need your UV LED light. My light is available on Amazon. It's a fantastic light. It has different like settings, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds. And what's so nice is as soon as you put your hand in, the light senses your hand is in there. It automatically comes on. It has a countdown timer so you know how much time you have left. And inside of the light, there are little grooves. So you know what, that you've stuck your hand in there far enough. But as soon as you stick your hand inside this light, the light comes on. You stick it in until you feel that little, it's like a thumb groove. And you know your hands perfect just leave it there so the first thing you have to do to prep your nails after you've trimmed and filed your nails and you have them the shape that you want them the first thing that you absolutely must do this is super super important is take your acetone get your little cotton pad wet with acetone and rub your nails here rub your nails this gets any oil any residue off of your nails and preps it to accept the gel nail polish. This is super important. Please don't skip this step. If you do, the polish will go on, but it's not gonna stay. Now, I can normally get about two weeks of wear out of my shellac nail polish if I take my time and I do it properly. I can get about two weeks. So just do your nails. And your nails will take on a whitish, chalky look. That means you did a good job. Over time, I have gotten better at painting my nails. So I'm right-handed, so I always paint my left hand first, 
so I can use my right hand and then I'm gonna swap. After I've got the rubbed my nail beds with acetone, I'm gonna take my CND shellac base coat and I'm going to lightly brush it on my nails. Lightly is key. Don't glop this on there. It does not need to be super thick. Just a nice light coat. And it's great because the C and D brushes have a really wide, flat brush. So you just want to put an even coat on each of your nails. Slide my hand in until it's on those grooves. So to 60 seconds on your base coat. And you don't have to have a fancy smancy light. Expensive light does not mean better light. This is an inexpensive light from Amazon. I'll link it in the description box below. It's $20 and it does a perfect job. So the next thing is color. And I've said this so many times, my favorite color is Hollywood. Got a brand new bottle, I used up my other one, but this is my favorite go-to, wear it year-round red color, Hollywood. So, just make sure that you shake all of your nail polish for about a minute at least. Let me put on my glasses, can't see anything. One reason I love shellac, like I said, is because of their brush, it is wide and spreads out perfectly. The shellac polish just goes on so silky smooth. It's not lumpy, it's not bumpy, it doesn't stay thick in areas, it's just perfect. You're gonna do two coats of polish and each coat is going to be thin. You do not want thick polish on your nails. Put a nice thin coat of polish on there, we're gonna cure it in our lamp and then we're gonna do coat number two and do the exact same thing. Just get a little bit on there. This is where your orange stick comes in handy. If you get some polish on your skin, stick your orange stick in the acetone and just rub your skin with it. It'll just come right off. It's not a big deal. See, just get it off. Okay, hands painted, whoops, nice thin coat. And I have a little on my skin right here. Again, just, see it just disappears, perfect. And then I'm gonna put my hand in my light for 90 seconds this time. Now I'm gonna put on coat number two, and I'm gonna, again, a super thin coat, not thick. The only difference is this time, when we're brushing the end of our nail, after we've got the nail done, we wanna run one little swipe along the edge of your nail. That tends to like seal the nail off with a color and helps prevent from chipping or peeling of the nail polish. Okay, almost done. We just have a, a top coat. So, shellac, top coat. Again, give it a good shake. Put your peepers on. And you do not want a thick top coat. The top coat is thicker than the base coat itself, but you still don't want a, a thick coat on your nails. A thin coat, and again, make sure to brush the edge of your nails, it helps seal it off. Very important.
the last thing we're gonna do is take our rubbing alcohol and a clean cotton pad, not the one that you had the acetone on, a clean cotton pad, and we're going to rub the top of our fingernails. So saturate a cotton pad really good with this alcohol, and you want to rub your nails. Your nails right now are gonna be sticky, and this alcohol gets off all the stickiness that came to the top. It helps to cure your gel nail polish. So this is a super important step. Don't skip it and rub, rub, rub the fingers. Hear it? I'm rubbing it. And after you get all your fingernails rubbed, your instinct is to kind of want to jump up and wash your hands. Don't do that. Let that alcohol sit on your fingers for a little bit. Do your other hand. Just let it hang out on there for a little bit just to help cure the gel nail polish and then you're good to wash your hands. And a little bit of color might come off on your little cotton pad. Mine did just a smidge. That's fine. Just That's just all the residue, all the sticky stuff. And see, now when I touch my nails, they're perfectly cured. They are not sticky. Perfect. And another little trick, another thing you need your orange stick for. If you feel like maybe the end of your nail is like stuck to your finger just a smidge, which happens when you're not the best nail painter like me, this is what you do. Just put your orange stick right up underneath there and pull the skin loose. It's just stuck, it's not a big deal, just pop it loose. And that's it, it really is that simple to do your own nails. Now I've done my left hand, I gotta do my right hand, but really, that simple. So it does take practice just a little bit, you know, to get good at painting your nails. Just don't skip any of the steps I've told you about. They're all important. And when your polish is ready to come off, you'll know it. Like I will start to see one like lifting and I'm like, oh, okay, well they're done. And they'll just all start coming off. But what you wanna do is put a little bit of acetone in a glass bowl, soak your nails in the acetone for a couple minutes and then take your orange stick and that polish will just pop right off of there and then rub your nail with a another clean cotton pad with acetone on it and any remaining polish that's in the corners or if there's a little bit of residue it just comes right off and you're good to go I will put links to all of the items that you need to do your nails in the description box below this video. Now, the LED light is found on Amazon. Your acetone and your alcohol, you can just get at your local grocery store, although I will go on and link them for you. The C&D shellac products are not available on Amazon. I found the best website to buy all things C&D shellac is a website called Beyond Polish. Again, I'll link it below. You can go on there and just shop until your heart is content. They have so many C&D colors to choose from. It's just mind blowing. I can have just endless amounts of colors of nail polish, but my favorite again is Hollywood. So I hope you enjoyed the video about how to do your own gel nails at home. This is one of my favorite things to do. It's a time saver, it's a money saver. I can do it at my convenience and I love to paint my nails year round. It's just a little indulgence that I do for myself. But I'm gonna do my other hand. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. But I'll see you later.